Okay, that's me. My primary interest is in systems design and not tripping over chairs and, um, and building stuff. And um, I'm currently focused on mixed reality, augmented reality, virtual reality, and a question over here about assessment and mixed reality and virtual reality and teaching our research project, which I'm doing with Fernando Beltran of ISOM, um, is, um, is focused on mixed reality for teaching and learning. And we, we call it, um, it started off as Project Presence, and we translated that into Maori, which is Ara Ara, and um, which I think is a nice title. So at the moment, you're all looking at flat screens. Okay? We're all looking at the same thing. But if we can put stuff in the room, we can all look at different things from different points of view. So if we look at this little little graph down here, which should be, here we go. We can, we can see that these two little guys can actually see these creatures and they can walk around. I'm not going to show you them walking around today, but they actually can. Um, and, and we can put stuff into space. So, so we can transform the way we um, use information. Anyway, that's, um, that's the future. So I'm now going to talk about the harsh realities. <laughs> um, and it was interesting listening to Rod because I, I'm pretty sure that what I'm going to talk about hits on all of these points. Okay, formative, personalised, contextual, um, process oriented, and evidence based. I think. So let's see. Okay, so in information systems, um, the, the fashion of today is agile design and development. We do we do everything incrementally. We um, iterate over problems, and in fact, people in wider industry are now adopting agile processes in all areas of business because it makes sense. It's just that software designers are always ahead. Okay, and in, in um, doing these sort, sort of projects, we have three real um, important elements. The first one is manage the project and, and we use this thing called a Kanban board. You ever heard of Kanban boards? Where did they come from? Yoga. Sorry? Japanese, Japanese car manufacturers, which is what the title is from manufacturing cars to manufacturing mines or something like that. And and for, for this we use a tool called Trilo. And for communications we, we have very focused communications. I mean you can use email, you can use Facebook, etc. etc. But what, what is very popular amongst once again software developers is a is a focused communication channel called Slack. And we can tie all these things together, the data can flow backwards and forwards between them. And then down the bottom to coordinate all the massive number of files that we create when we're creating software projects. And people on any project create lots of files and could use um, um, good coordination of, of files um, for co-authoring and things like that. We use a thing called GitHub. So in courses I teach, I teach these things and I realise that I could actually use these tools, or some of them, well all of them actually, um, to actually run the course. And so I started off using Trilo. Because Trilo is, is, is a project management tool, a really simple project man management tool, the simplest project management tool really, um, compared to something like Microsoft Project, which if you're building dams and things like that, or big buildings, you need all that sort of stuff, but, but for many projects, we just need simple things. So, and, and the, the, the other thing is that, that a course, for me, is a project. It's a project. You start off here, you do these activities, this activity follows this activity, you have to get things done. And the core thing is down the bottom, so up the top is a Trilo board, a Kanban board, down the bottom is, is what drives all of our lives. We've got things we're going to do, We've got things that we're doing, and we've got things that we get done. And basically, the whole process of doing that is just shuffling these cards on the board from, from one list to another. Okay? And one of the things I find with students in um, 
in, in my courses, they actually don't know how to work. They don't know how to organise themselves and to break things down into little tasks. And even this semester, after six weeks, <laughs> I've only been partially successful. We've got another six weeks to go, so hopefully <laughs> uh, we're going to get a bit closer. Okay, so, so, so there it is to do, doing and done. Just moving through those elements. So the first um, Kanban board I use is to actually drive the course. Okay, so I'm just going to jump out of here. From here. So here is, just close this up. Here is the course board for Infosys 320. You can see this, this element, this list here is all the things the students have done. Now in this course they have to do a lot of little things. They have to get their computers ready, they have to install software, they have to go and create accounts on various cloud serv um, services. There's many things that they have to do and if they don't do them by a certain time they start getting behind. And so you can see that when they first come in they're a bit, get a bit traumatised by all of this because there's quite a lot of little things to be done. Uh, like, like it's not, but most of them aren't, well almost none of them are assessed but they need to get their, like, get their workshop in order so they can actually do the job. So that's the course board, and then if we look, they also are working in, what's this, a group? A, a group, so, we, 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 so each student has their own board, and, and, and then they use that board to place um, things on it. Let me just go to a student board here. Okay, so you can see here, there's writing on here, which is my form of feedback. Like you can see, I can't write very well. Uh, but I can write really quickly. Like I can, I, I, get, I received this from a student. Please give me feedback. They email me. They have a link to this in their board, a direct link. So I click on the link. I come in here. I take a snapshot of it. I draw it up with a pen. I copy that and then paste it back into the board and the process is done. I can do this and like, like you might think it looks like good feedback, but it is because if they follow this, they will do better the next time. And I, I can guarantee that the students who get the most feedback will learn, which is what we're trying to do. So I really encourage them to use me. They, once again, they don't use me enough, actually. I'm saying, please send me stuff, I don't mind. It's not a problem. I can take five minutes here and there and do this for you and you will go from having all these mistakes because they just go, look, look, look. Okay, so that's that. So following on from this, all of these boards, let me just close this. One of the key elements of things like Trello is all the data is available. So we can actually analyse the data. So let's have a look at the data analytics, which. I call, it's, it's like micro or um, learning analytics. So here I can see, I know you can't read it, but th th these are all the individual people working on their boards and we take a snapshot of the data and then we can plot it. And I'm just going to try this, it might not work, but I'll try and update it, refresh. Okay. Okay, so it's changed a bit because the students have been doing some work. So I can see down here that this guy down here is not doing anything. <laughs> That's not a good sign because if he's not doing anything, it doesn't matter about the quality of it. Like this guy at the top, of course, could be doing absolute rubbish. A lot of it. <laughs> but he's not. I mean, I know him. Yeah, I, I know that he's doing good work and he's doing what he's been told to do and, and so I can analyse this by using this, um, it's called Power BI which is a really simple tool to use if you, if you can use Excel you can use this but it's actually easier than Excel to use and um, we, we use a simple um, um, program to read all of the boards, aggregate all the data 
and being displayed. And uh, another view here is, so here's, here's the groups who are currently working, which I've analyzed on a different thing. So, so once again, I can see the groups, I can see the groups but who I'm going to be talking to first on Monday when we meet again. And it gives me an indication of where I need to go and look for, for problems. And e each one of these um, colors is, a, is just a different um, um, element. So I can see what people have done in various things. And I can come over to um, this sort of control panel and I can filter and, and look on, on any of those lists. I can see how many people have done stuff on particular lists, how many people have created the list. One of the hardest things um, is actually getting the students to consistently name things. I say, because if they don't consistently name things, they can't pick it up. So, that's it. So, I use Trello for what? Driving the course, I use Trello for the students to learn about how to use a tool like this for the rest of their life, hopefully, and also to analyse what they're doing. Okay. Define the packages for them, or do they define the packages? The lists? Yeah. I define some that they have to do, but then, like within their group work, they can create a list to put <laughs> stuff on the other stuff, like resources and things like that. And, and that the, what, what, one of the hand-ins for the, for the projects, or any work, is, is, the, <coughs> is the board. So, so they're basically, they can hand in their project as just a Kanban board. Or they can write it up as a, as a um, Word document or sometimes a combination of the two. But the board is the centre. Because like in these projects, like, like when we're building software based on agile methodologies, we're not writing reports all the time and detailed specifications. We move from one, we have to do this next thing, and we do that, we do that, we do that, and just work through it. That's how it happens. Yeah. Um, about 35. Yes. Well, not, not huge maybe, but, but certainly that giving the feedback, just like Andrew, and that like, like with Andrew, uh, like I'm looking at this saying, like instead of just writing, I should be talking, or I should be videoing at the same time, but I, I've got to use writing. No, not at all. No, I don't. Um, no, 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 it's too complicated for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that, you know.